right, so today what we're gonna do is we are gonna unbox the Rigid Octane kit and the Octane half inch impact wrench that I got a couple days ago. And we are gonna see what's inside. So I'm, uh, I've never owned a Rigid before, this is my first time. So I'm actually excited about seeing what the batteries look like and what the tool looks like brand new. Because you know, if you go to Home Depot, if you, you can see them on display, but they're all messed up for the, just from how long they've been out there for. And so uh, it's, it's gonna be good to see this brand new. And we'll, we're gonna investigate the Bluetooth technology that's in these batteries, so. Now it was a part of the Black Friday sale that they were having for this kit. Now this kit is not available to get free tools with. They they just majorly discounted the kit by like a hundred and fifty dollars. So it's a hundred, sorry, hundred forty dollars. So it's it's not bad. So I, I had to take it because of the octane. Uh, the kits that were available to buy uh, at the store for the Black Friday sale were brushed, and I don't want brushed, and I also don't want the octane to not work. The octane batteries to not work with the tool. So I wanted, the, I wanted the Octane kit and that's what we got. So let's open this up. This knife is awesome. I love it. All right, so you do get a bag. It's a nice looking bag, I like that. I like that. All right, so of course it comes with instructions and the warranty for each tool. Put that in the instruction box. All right, so first we have we have a charger, which this is uh this is smaller than I thought it would be, which is good because I thought this was going to be huge. And so I'm not sure if this is a fast charger. It says Gen uh, Gen 5X. Yep, the box still does not say if it's, a, it's, if it's a fast charger or not. So, it doesn't matter. We'll test that out in the future, I guess. Alright, so then we get a battery. size is this? This is the 6 amp hour Ikin battery. Now I guess for my what my understanding is the 6 the the Bluetooth Octane battery pretty much you just down, you download the I guess you download the app and uh, you could see what the charge is but I I was told that it also acts like a a, a a theft, an anti-theft system, which you don't, you still, if someone steal this, steals this, you still lose the battery, but the battery will not function at all. It'll be a dead battery, because unless if it's close to your phone, I guess, or if you have the setting like that, it'll not operate. It'll be a dead battery until you it reaches back to your phone. So it's a double saw on both sides, you push it in. Of course, it acts one individually. All right, next we have the the quarter inch octane impact driver. Ooh, that actually see it looks. Oh, that that grip, that grip is really real because of the the design in it. The grip is really firm, you know. But once again, like Dewalt and Milwaukee. It gets thin at the bottom, which I'm not too fond of. As you can see, not much of a. There's too a little space in between my palm and my fingers. But that grip is. I guess. I guess there's a safety. Uh, actually, let's pu let's put that in. It is a. It is a slide in, of course. Wonder what that is. At speed three, there are different modes. One is for uh, small screws. Mode two is for longer screws, and then three is for the flat-out impact. Of course, the battery's dead, so 
and then there's speeds speed one speed one speed three speed two and then the modes with that speed which that's actually a nice feature which the mode uh actually auto sets it for you so if you change the at speed uh, one, so if you go to speed three, and then you change the mode, it'll adjust the speed for you. Three LEDs in the front, which is nice to have. It's better to have the three LEDs around the around the the center. Sorry, I don't know what it's uh, what the area is called. Instead of underneath or on the base, it's better to have the LEDs right there. But that I'm amazed of that grip. That grip feels good. And this is actually, uh, I, the base is smaller than what I thought. I thought the base was going to be like wide. But it's actually smaller than I than it uh, I thought it was going to be, which is good. <laughs> color scheme is good too. I like the color scheme. Alright, so next we have the, the, the handle. The, ha the handle is a little odd. It's a little odd. It's an extremely tough vinyl. Let's see. Yeah, it's just a vinyl. I believe it's a vinyl. Which the there has to be a long screw for that. Alright, so next you get the hammer drill. Is that clutch metal? Ooh, that clutch, th this thing is, uh, the tip of that is fat. Like, uh, the chuck, that's extremely fat. And one downside of this clutch, it does not click. The clutch does not click. So, like, it, like, it doesn't do, uh, like, uh, an actual setting for it. You have to sort of guess what you want it at. Let's put the 6 amp hour in. I was told this is a beast. There's a, the, the little switch, the paddle right there, which I don't know what that's for. Ooh, I like that. that that's different. That's different. I like that. I did not know that. That is seriously interesting. The chuck is, of course, a, a good metal. There, uh, there. It's a good grip, but that that clutch, though, that, I'm not. I don't like that clutch. It is an extremely high point clutch, too. And I think no, it is not. It is not an infinity clutch. It goes. The clutch goes up to like a hundred, a hundred and ten, maybe. That is. That's insane. Hundred and ten. Look at that. It goes up to 110, like 120. That's crazy. Like I said, the battery's dead, so. I like that. No, it's not a bad design at all. It's just like the Impact. It has a really good grip. And of course, it has hammer, drill, and screw. Uh, sorry, it's uh, drill, screw, then hammer. Which I don't like that it's on the side. It's easier to adjust it while it's on the top. The hammer drill and screw, hammer drill and screw. So you adjust it with both with your two fingers. That's easier than adjusting it with one. That's really firm. And of course, it goes to two uh, two speeds. Battery's dead, so you you can tell there's a little power difference, but the battery's dead. But very good. I don't know what that paddle is for. I have to find out. But I like that light. That light is cool. <coughs> and this is all metal right here. It, uh, the part of the handle that it gets actually attached to the drill, it's all metal. Which it's good. The more uh, force you can put on it without it breaking. Now when it comes to the Ryobi's handle, I don't like using because... Uh, 
it's just there's no metal reinforcement for it so that's actually a good thing that they have metal then we got I think that's it for the bag of course we have belt clips two of them one one per tool and then we got the three amp hour battery There we go, let's do a size comparison. Which it's not that much smaller than the six. Uh, it's not, so it's, the size is actually, size is actually pretty, pretty good. So, they're, they're light too. They, they're not heavy batteries. So that's, that one's dead as well. So the, like I said, the Bluetooth, it lets you know on your phone what the, where the, the battery is uh, the charges and it's an anti-theft device you're, you're gonna lose your battery any, anyways but they uh, they can't use it so and I do a uh, rigid has an extremely good warranty with the batteries too extremely good warranty so like people buy rigid just for the battery warranty quarter inch this goes to uh, 0 to 750 rpms on speed 1 it goes to 0 to uh, 2200 RPMs on speed 2. And then it goes to 0 to 3000 uh, RPMs in speed 3. And then it's 3900 impacts per minute. Alright, so the, mac the maximum torque is 2400 inch-pounds of torque. But that's not bad. That is not bad. I can't wait to test these out. Alright, and for the specs on the hammer drill... Uh, all right, so the hammer drill is 13 uh, a max torque of 1300 inch pounds, and the blows per minute uh, is maximum uh, zero to 31,000. And of course, and of course, it's a half inch chop. I like that. I, I love that light. That light is awesome. And then we got the half inch impact wrench which we're going to be testing these all these tools I that I got a lot all winter long. All right, so this is tool only. Of course it comes with instructions and a belt clip. Very good. The warranty and instructions go into the instruction bag. That thing is hefty. That is hefty. Three speed, uh, I don't know what the A means. And again, it has the paddle. I'll find out what that paddle is for. Three LEDs, uh, three of uh, four settings actually, A, one, two, and three. So of course three is the fastest. I that, that paddle drives me. I gotta find out what that is. But it's a good it's a good looking tool. It really is. I can't wait to uh, see what uh, the power is when I do the test video for this, which is coming soon, by the way. So for the specs on the half inch uh, impact wrench, this goes up to uh, uh, speed one, uh, uh, VSR. Speed one, it goes to zero to 1300 RPM. Speed two, zero to 1900 RPM. Speed three, zero to 2600 RPM. And then it is uh, zero to 3500 uh, impacts per minute. This has 485 uh, foot-pounds of torque for fastening, and it has 620 uh, foot-pounds of torque for for breakaway. So, and like you guys know, an impact wrench has more power taking uh, going in reverse than it does going forward. So that that's the specs of the half inch. 
Alrighty, so this has been a fun unboxing of the Rigid Octane Set and Half Inch Impact Wrench tool only. Like I said, we're going to have a bunch of uh, videos coming in the future of test videos versus Milwaukee, DeWalt, TacLife, Ryobi. I'm getting Makita and Craftsman uh, in the future. And it's just going to be an endless test videos coming up from here on out. And plus, I'll be working on stuff here and there that I'll be uploading. So, so that's pretty much it. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, things are going to be good. So I have a raffle coming up uh, around Black Friday. So that's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.